Hey Ski Seekers and welcome back. In the last episode, I took a trip up to the top of Innsbruck using the Nordkettenbahn, a fantastic viewpoint with several ski routes in the winter months, but also the starting point for summer activities like mountain biking, hiking, and a Via Ferrata. In today's episode, we take a day trip to Seefeld, a little over half an hour by train, and you're in one of Austria's best cross-country ski resorts. It's also got alpine skiers covered too, with a few ski lifts. While it might not be the location you're looking for for a week of downhill skiing, its proximity to Innsbruck means it's still worth a day trip. Or maybe you feel like trying something different. Seefeld has plenty of cross-country ski schools that can get you started, and not only that, but trail passes for cross-country skiing are significantly cheaper than your average lift pass. Okay, our journey begins at Innsbruck HPF. With Welcome to Innsbruck card, you can take the S6 train to Seefeld for free. If you watched my video traveling from Munich to Innsbruck, you'll know that I wasn't exactly blown away by the views on that train ride. Well, let me tell you, if you're one of those people that travels just for scenic train rides, you don't want to skip this one. For the best view, I'd say probably the only view, sit on the left side of the train and you can feast your eyes on the valleys and mountains on the way to Seefeld. While it looked great in the summer, I can only imagine how incredible these views will be when covered by snow. Keep in mind, you will be going through over 500 meters of elevation change on this train trip. So proceed with caution while opening any bottles with liquid in it. We don't want to have any accidents on this train now, do we? Once you get off the train in Seefeld, there's a convenient tourist office just off the main platform. I'd advise popping in for a quick scan as they have loads of information about all sorts of stuff going on in Seafeld throughout the year. And you never know, you might stumble upon another excuse to come back here. Okay, now it's time to walk into the town. Seafeld is beautiful. Honestly, it feels like you've stepped into a Disney fairy tale or something. The chalets, the streets, restaurants and shops, all with this incredible mountain backdrop You'd think that it would get old after a few days in Innsbruck, but you know what, it doesn't. Oh, and about those events that happen throughout the year? Well, I just happened to be there while one was in full flow. A Strudelfest, no less. If you've ever been to Epcot in Disney World during one of their food festivals, this is pretty much the same thing. Only the food's better, it's significantly cheaper, and the authentic live music just adds to the atmosphere. Every bar, restaurant, and cafe had stalls with their own strudel. There were so many flavors here, I couldn't help but change my plans. Think beef wellington, pulled pork, poppy seed, and even jackfruit. Then you have your traditional apple strudel and topfen strudel. Topfen strudel is just sweet cheese, and it's so tasty. I had originally planned to stop at a restaurant for lunch, but I guess that will just have to wait for another time. Don't forget, the vendors may twist your arm to wash it all down with some local Tyrolean beer and some schnapps. And this isn't the only festival that takes place here. There's a market every Tuesday, and so many more that I could probably make a video just listing off all the events and when they happen. While the Strudelfest was great, I'll admit it wasn't the reason I came to Seefeld. I came here on a whim to have a bash at roller skiing at their roller ski track. Unfortunately for me, the office was closed. So to save yourself some disappointment, email ahead and you can arrange a time, equipment, and maybe even a lesson to get you started. And because I'm feeling nice today, I'll leave some links in the video description below so you can check out all the events and some details about the roller ski track. And don't say I'm not good to you. There's so much more to do here beyond winter sports. There are hiking and mountain biking trails, paddle boarding and open water swimming in wild sea or if you want to feel active but take a more relaxed approach to it there's always the olympia sports and congress center seafelt is certainly not designed for cars apart from getting in and out of town i didn't see much in the way of car traffic and if you're like me that's great all you need to worry about is how far you have to walk and if you really want to get around seafelt quickly you can always rent an e-bike if you want to make getting around a breeze. That's just a handful of the things that you can do here. 
and while my main goal was to try something ski related, I found that Seafeld has so much more to offer, while also offering a slightly more relaxed atmosphere to Innsbruck. I definitely need to come back here in winter to check out the alpine and cross country skiing. So remember, subscribe and you can be notified when this happens. And on that note, it's time to make our way back to Innsbruck. Our summer adventure here is nearly over, but that doesn't mean that we can make the trip back more interesting. Look out for our next video, where I'll be taking the train from Innsbruck to Zurich. For all you train journey fanatics, this is the one that you've been waiting for. Till next time, ski seekers.